G'day, this is Mr. Thompson, and today in this video we're going to draw, here it comes, we're going to draw the front wheel, the standard front wheel of a CO2 dragster. So this is not a wheel that we're going to make ourselves, this is the one that if you're using the standard wheels that we bought, um, we're going to draw that standard wheel that we've bought so you can put it in your, in your drawing. Uh, so that's what it's going to look like, but I'm going to close that one because we're going to start from scratch. All right, so we're going to start by drawing a sketch. Create sketch, and I'm going to click on this plane here, like that. Um, C for circle on my keyboard, C for circle. Click in the center there, and then come out. And before I do my second click, I'm just going to type 36 millimeters, because these uh, I measured these to be 36 millimeters in diameter. Press Enter on my keyboard. There we go. And I'm going to click and drag that uh, label outside the circle just to uh, keep it out of the way. All right, I'm going to zoom in. I'm using my uh, mouse wheel to zoom in like that. C for circle again. Click on the center. This time I want a three millimeter hole. Three, enter. And let's get that out of the way as well. Yeah. So it's a three millimeter hole in the middle. And you know what? That'll do for this sketch. Uh, you don't want to make your sketches too complicated. Uh, so a bit at a time is a good idea. E for extrude, E for extrude, and I'm going to click on that outside part of the circle, not the center. And um, now I'm going to extrude. I'm actually not going to do a one side. I'm going to do a symmetric extrude. So this will extrude in both directions. Um, and uh, the reason I'm doing that is because I want that, that plane that I started with, I want that plane to be right in the center of my wheel. Um, that just it's nice to keep your drawing symmetrical and uh, aligned with the uh, the origin if you can. Okay, now I could now it's got to be two millimeters wide, so I could make it go one millimeter in each direction like that. That would do the job. See, it's gone it's gone one millimeter that way and one millimeter that way, or I could come over here and say I want the whole length to be two millimeters, which achieves the same thing. Doesn't really matter matter which way you do it. Uh, that's perhaps a little bit more elegant. Um, so, OK. And there we have our disk. Um, in fact, let's just call that the, the wheel. What are we going to call it? The wheel disk, I guess. That's what the, I don't know what else to call it. Uh, just the outline of the wheel. All right. Now, uh, now and, and in fact, if we have a look here, look at origin. Uh, if I click on the YZ plane, that's the plane that I drew the sketch on. Can you see, if I click here on there, can you see that plane is right in the middle? So that's where I wanted it to be. To be. So my wheel is nice and symmetric uh, around that center point. All right, so clicking out here. Now I'm going uh, un so to press Escape so that I've, that plane's not selected because now I want to create a sketch and I want to create a sketch on this outside plane here. So I click on this outside plane here, create a sketch on it like that. Um, now I want to do, um, what I want to do now is I want to do, um, I want to do this, the spokes. So let's do some spokes. Um, in fact, what I've got to do is sort of some holes, but I'm going to draw one spoke and then I'm going to repeat it. Right, what does that mean? I'll show you. Uh, L for line. So I'm going to, you can click here or L on your keyboard for line, click from the center, to the very top, like that. Escape, so I'm not drawing a line anymore. Click on the line that we just drew, and either click here, or X on your keyboard, to turn that line into a construction line. See how it's dotted? So that means we're not gonna use that uh, line itself for an extrusion, or to make that an edge, uh, but that will be a construction line to help us draw the rest of the sketch. So, uh, L for line, oh no, I'm not gonna use L for line. I need to draw a line down here and a line down here. If that's the center of the spoke, I need to draw the edges of the spoke. So I'm gonna use this tool here, which is the offset tool, um, or it could go modify offset there, or I could press O, I'll do that. Press O on my keyboard. And then, um, actually, let me just do that again. If I press O on my keyboard, um, if that was, already, so I'm gonna click on that one there, because that's the one that I want to offset. And uh, by how much? Um, well, I measure the spokes to be 3.8 millimeters thick. So half of 3.8 is 1.9. So I want to go 1.9 in that direction. 
And then I'm going to do another offset. So O for offset. Uh, select that line there. And I want to come back this way. Uh, well, I want to come back. I'm going to type in minus 1.9. So I did so 1.9. That was positive 1.9 in one direction, and then that was negative 1.9 in the other direction. So that gives me a total of 3.8 thickness. All right. Now my spokes don't go all the way from the top to the bottom. They sort of um, they 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 finish. There's a circle around the outside and a circle around the inside where the spokes start and finish. So let's draw that in. So C for circle. I'm going to click here and I'm going to come out to, well, uh, let's measure. I measured, um, I think, about 12.3. 12.3 there and C for circle again, clicking on the center. And the other one that I measured, I think 24.7 was my measurement, like that. And so that is going to be the spoke, and these are going to be holes here. All right, let me just get those. I'm just going to zoom in and carefully grab those dimensions and get them out of the way again. I just don't like them cluttering everything up. Okay. All right, so zooming back in so it's in the center. Okay, now I want to create that, that spoke there. I could actually go and do that six more times or five more times, but there's an easier way of doing it. We're going to create a pattern. So if I go create circular pattern like that, uh, it's going to ask me which objects do I want to make into a pattern. Well, I want to make that line and that line into a pattern. The center point, click on center point, so is going to be that center point there. And you can see it's created a pattern, but it's made a pattern with three spokes. I want six spokes. So if I click six, now there are six spokes. Okay, like that. And in fact, what I don't really want the spokes, I really want the holes between them. Um, so let's extrude those. I'm going to do a cut extrude to create those holes. So E for extrude, like that. And then I'm going to click on that one, that one, that one. That one, that one, and that one. Those are my holes. And I'm going to, let's see, I'm just going to click home here so I can see what's going on. I guess I need to go back that direction. And can you see that's created a cut extrusion? Good. And uh, how far do I want to make the cut? Well, I'm just going to be a bit lazy. I'm going to say I want it to go through everything. Uh, I could actually go to object and click on the other side, but I, it just cutting through everything will do. Cut through all like that. Okay, so one side, all, cut. Um, that's going to work. There we go. All right, now you'll notice I didn't put the fillets on those holes yet. Um, it's actually better if we do fillets in 3D rather than 2D. It's a bit easier to edit later if you need to. So, so I didn't put the fillets on in the sketch. I'll put them on now. So I'm going to click on Fillet, and I'm going to select, uh, I'm going to be careful here because I've got, I want to select those edges there. So I'm just going to do the outside ones first. That one, that one, zoom, zoom so I can see the others. That one, let's see, uh, that one, that one, keeping on zooming. Oh. Uh, now, of course, you could uh, move around with the pan tool if you want. I tend to use the zoom tool. So with a mouse wheel, I tend to zoom out and then shift my mouse and zoom in like that. Okay, Zoom out, shift my mouse and zoom in. And uh, I find that's quicker for me than using the pan tool. Zoom out, shift my mouse and zoom in like that. Uh, oh, that one's a bit tricky. So I'm going to use my view cube so that I can see it. There we go. Like that. Zooming out, that's got them all. Okay, that's got the outside ones. I'll make them 1.5, like that. Okay, now I'm not going to click OK. Oh, yes, I'll just press, press Enter. Oh, okay, I did click OK. Never mind. Um, let's do, you know what? I'm going to double click on that fillet. I'm going to add another set. So I could actually click on fillet again and do another fillet, but I'm just going to double click on that, and we're just going to edit. So I've got one set with 12 edges on it, I'm going to add another set, and this time I'll do the inside 12 edges. So again, click there, there. These ones are a bit easier because they're closer together. That one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. And of course, if I make a mistake, I can just 
we sort of delete that set and start again, which is one of the reasons I didn't do them all in one set. Because if I got to 23 of them and my last one I stuffed up, I'd have to go all the way back to the beginning. Here, at least, if I stuff one up, I've only got I only have to delete 12. All right. Anyway, um, so here we go. So if I click, uh, let's see, how far? 1.5 again. Uh, and I think that is about right. So click on OK. Uh, and there we have our fillets for our spokes. Um, oh, I'm going to click on here. I'm just going to name that uh, spoke holes. Or actually, let's just call it spokes. Spokes. OK, I like to name my sketches because um, it just makes it easier later when you go back and want to edit things. All right. Uh, so how are we going? Um, that's pretty good. All we've got to do now is there's, a, there's like a little hub thing in the middle here. So let's create a hub. Now, you know what? I want to draw the hub on the center. I don't want to draw the hub on the face there. I want to draw the hub right in the center. So let's see if I can find, if I've got my origin open here, uh, it's going to be one of these planes. Not that one, not that one, that one. I want to draw my uh, hub on that plane there. So if I come up here and go create sketch, and then select that plane there, the, the YZ plane, like that. Now I'm actually drawing inside the wheel. So I'm going to do C for circle, and I'm going to uh, create the hub. Now let's see, I measured the hub to be 6.5 millimeters diameter, like that. Now the other thing I need to do, if I just try to extrude that, it'll create another hole, which I don't want to do. I need that circle there to also be in my sketch. So the easy way to do that is P for project. And if I select that circle, it will project um, that circle into my sketch. In other words, it'll take the shape of that circle that's already there and bring that circle into the sketch. So when I do an extrude, it'll work. OK. All right. Now, E for extrude. And I'm going to select. Oh, that didn't work. OK, why didn't that work? Because let's just cancel that. Uh, because my sketch is in the middle of that uh, of that wheel. So to, to select that part of the circle, uh, that to select that just that part of the circle, I need to do what's called a slice. And what a slice does is it allows me to see inside or it allows me to select inside uh, that wheel. Let me just show you what happened there. Uh, if I take the slice away, see how my sketch, if I come around here, my sketch, it's hard to see. My sketch is actually right inside the circle there, which is why I couldn't select that circle there. But if I click on slice, let me come back here. If I click on slice, it actually slices that wheel in half. So now I can get inside and, and select that circle. Okay, so let's now I can select that circle there, just that, that, that one in the center. And now E for extrude. And the reason I drew, drew that um, circle on the inside is because now I want to do an extrude. I want to do a symmetric extrude because I need the hub to come out the same distance both sides from the center. So that's why I drew it in the center. OK, I need it to come out, let's see, from one end to the other, from one side of the hub to the other. I measured that to be 11.6 uh, millimeters. Oh. That's doing a cut. I don't want to do a cut. I want to do a join. OK, so what do we say? 11.6 as a join. Uh, OK, yeah, I can see it coming out the back. Can't see it coming out the front because remember, this is a slice view. So when I go OK, we should be up there. Now we can see everything. All right. So that's done a symmetrical extrude from the center um, out both sides, same uh, the same distance. All right, um, let's see, I'm almost done. I, I just want to relabel that. Let's call, instead of sketch three, let's call that the hub. And if I want to be really pedantic, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to label my body as well, even though the component is um, going to be called front wheel. Let's call the body the front wheel as well. Okay, that's the body. Um, and I think we're done. Let's, I haven't saved it yet. Let's go save. And call it front wheel. Um, actually, I did this before, so I'm going to call mine front wheel two because I already saved another one once before. Save. And of course, we probably should have saved 
at multiple stages as we went, but uh, I just did it all in one go. All right, and uh, I think that looks pretty good. Okay, the next one we'll do is we'll do the back wheel, but that's a job for another video. All right, that'll do.